Welcome back to Pixel Art Academy 101. Now that the infrastructure for the game is done, the people have their characters, you can walk around the locations, you can talk to people, you can use items, you can do all of that. Now it's time for the real game to begin. Hello and welcome to Pixel Art Academy 101 everyone. My name is Matej Jan, also known as Retro. And you might have noticed I've been a little bit MIA in 2018. And that's because I was working on the next big update for Pixel Art Academy. And it's called the Pixel Boy update. Actually, it's not really called that, but uh, it's the start of chapter one, episode one of the game. And we're gonna take a look at how that goes today. So what I just released was the first half of chapter one, episode one. So this is the start of the game and the way it works every episode and every chapter as I'm working on it, it first gets released to alpha players. So yeah, what happens in chapter one? Well, first of all, your character wakes up, you have a little conversation with them and then you find yourself in your studio room in San Francisco and oh, look what's there, there's the computer. And if you use it, look at all this, I wonder what that prince icon does. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and now I lost one hour of my time. Okay, so what you really should be doing on your computer is go to your browser and right now it just opens up magically to the website of Retropolis Academy of Art. This is an actual website. You can actually go to retropolis.city slash academy of art. Basically, there are two programs at the university which you can read on the progress page. So one of them is the online course, which is just their way of giving all of the educational content out for free. It's in the form of a study guide that's going to come out in Retronator magazine, the magazine that I also publish sometimes. It's all just a draft right now. It's not been officially released yet, so I'm not super public about it, but it's there. I divide it into four levels. There's the artwork and all the terms that go with it, like composition, the physics of shading, then you have the process level, which describes how you go from a blank page to the end result that we just talked about on the artwork level. And then the third level, which is something that not a lot of tutorials actually ever mention or talk about, is the progress of how you're going to go from zero knowledge when you don't know anything about art to the point where you know everything you need to do to carry out this process. So I call this the progress level, is how your skills are progressing and all of the kind of knowledge, kind of meta knowledge that goes into learning how to learn how to draw. There's also going to be the personal level, which is not written out yet. This is deals with the motivation behind it. Why did you want to learn all of this in the first place? So that's a huge resource. It's out, out there for free and it's mainly there because until all of this makes it into the game, I want you to be able to start learning straight away. There are actually 50 tasks down below organized in activities that are kind of a game design document for me for the game. It is the basis of what kind of things you'll be able to do in the game and you can actually go over them and start learning from zero. It's still got the beginner's stuff in but if you are new to drawing it points you into the right pieces of the study guide to get you started. That's just a short intro into the study guide. The main thing, of course, at the academy is to actually go study there in person, to go on their campus and be part of it. And that's what your character is going to do. You're gonna apply, so if you go to the application page you can actually apply your character there. Basically what happens is you have to go through admission week, which is the time where you prove that you're really committed to learning art. Unlike other universities that accept you based on your merit, how good you've done before and they just take the top people. In Retropolis, what matters is how much you want it 
It doesn't matter how much you've done so far, if you really want to learn, you're going to go there. You can even set your own kind of standards, your goals, how much commitment you actually want to put in because some people want to learn almost full time and others just want to do a little bit of drawing on the weekends and that's all fine. So after your character sends in their application, you will actually get an email the next day or you can go use the bed and go to sleep and then the next day an email will arrive informing you that yes, you can start your admission week and what you need to do first is get your pixel boy and pixel boy is this kind of a tablet device morphs into a watch and then you take it off it's kind of like a phone and then you can expand it to a tablet it's sci-fi and they tell you the closest place you can get to pixel boy is of course retronator headquarters you go there just like you bought the game, this time you buy Pixel Boy and you will get Pixel Boy for free during admission week, so you don't have, don't worry, this is not some sort of DLC you have to pay. Uh, you'll just get it as soon as you get accepted. All right, so you turn on the Pixel Boy. What do you have here? There's four apps. So the main one is journal there's a whole section on journals in the study guide and they're used to track your progress they're used for many things you can collect references in them create mood boards follow up through your projects but the main thing that we are using the journals especially now is to kind of track progress to document your learning way and you can put artwork scene and write text this is all public so other characters will be able to read them and you can read other people's journals the point is to kind of share your learning path with others. The next app you have is the calendar. When you first fire it up, you have to decide on your commitment goal, how much you want to draw per week. You have two types of goals. One is to set how many days out of the week you want to check in. The second type of goal is to set a minimum amount of hours. Once you have the goal, the calendar is going to track the days when you checked in and as I said you check in by writing something in your journal so it's gonna show up when you wrote something and depending on the goal that you set it's gonna give you a little check mark once you reach that goal then we have the yearbook app this one is not really that much important it's something that I wanted to have to list all of the Kickstarter backers and the patrons and everyone else the more important part is that this app is going to be the start of the storyline that introduces you to your study group so here you have your little personal profile that you get to fill out kind of just things that you want to share with other people and the final app, this one is especially just there kind of as a tech demo. And this is the study plan. There's a whole section in the progress level of the study guide as well on making your study plan. And basically the way it works is I really want you to have a goal in mind like, hey, I want to make art for video games. The goals that are in the study plan so far are getting admitted to the academy. So you choose that from the search and now it shows you what do you need to do? What are the prerequisites? And so now you can click on each one of them and find which other goals you can complete to gain those things that you need to there. So for example, you finish the pixel art tools goal, you get an interest or kind of the proficiency in pixel art drawing. And now you can use that to complete your admission project, which would be in this case, making a game of snake and drawing artwork for it. There's going to be multiple admission projects. To complete admission week, you're gonna have to finish one of them. You're going to learn how to use the tools, how to plan things, how to write in your study journal. You're pretty much learning the meta stuff. So yeah, that's just a short, quick demo into episode one, chapter one for alpha players. You gotta have alpha access if you wanna try this out. If you wanna follow the development as it happens, go to Patreon. All right, that's it, that's all. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.